Listen, man, I don't understand what's happening either. It's 2020. I weigh the least I ever have, by the way. I, I hope to do some workout videos. Would you guys like to see those? Me and my buddy Nottis fan, you guys can check out his channel link in the description. Found out the news that Supercard Season 7 is dropping. And in 2020, did you think Tubby Emu, the guy that flew out and still to this day has the only, the greatest Dean Ambrose card there is in this game? The only person, chef's kiss to have it, even though the card doesn't do me any good, would be still playing this damn game in 2020. The guy that loves games like WWE 12, 13, 14, 2K19, 2K20, and the game I play the most is this? What are we doing with our life? But today they dropped the news for Supercard Season 7. We're going to go over the details of Supercard Season 7 harder than JB shills out for Cat Daddy as an employee. And the one thing that you want to pay attention to in this are some of the great things that are happening in Season 7. For those people that know, Supercard to me is a game that's casual. I just want to pick it up and play it on the go. But the problem with that is then my favorite events only come around once every couple weeks. And so it's the other modes where you have to grind to get cards, and I hate that, man. If if you know me for Supercard, I'm the kind of person that, yes, I would rather spend a few credits to speed something up, to keep something going, to use doublers so I don't have to grind as much, because I'm not like that nerd sitting over there who literally plays the game falling asleep. That's not me. I just want to play a game for a couple hours a day, and I feel like these changes, him and I have both agreed, kind of make it so, you know, if you can play all of these modes, which is, I think, in my mind, the biggest feature of Supercard Season 7, they're going on demand. So what does on demand mean? On demand means you can play your favorite game modes when you want, how you want. Now, obviously, we still don't know the details if this means, like, you're going to get unlimited cards, like, every single day you can go through Road to Glory. No, it's probably not going to be that. It's probably going to be timed exclusive, maybe, like, Every week, once a month, maybe it's timed. I don't exactly know how it's going to work. But if you love Road to Glory, you can play Road to Glory. You ain't got to wait three weeks for Road to Glory. Why you like Road to Glory? I don't ask these questions, but come on, man. We all know Ring Domination's better. They're adding three new tiers to the game. Man, I just got to SummerSlam 20. This sucks. But that's part of the tiers. It's part of the game. I will say that my deck isn't as good. This is one of those seasons that at the start I took very seriously. I was grinding. And I kind of fell out of love, man. But I still kept playing. And I think, to be honest with you, if you're a super card player, find a team. Having a team makes it all the better. But if we look over the notes here, because I want to read these that came in. Let me make sure there's no embargo. No, we're good to go. I'm able to read all these. They're adding styles and techniques, which make you allow a deck building with style, a new attribute. Okay, none of this stuff really makes sense to me because, again, Tubby just wants to play the cards and, and hit the attacks and do that stuff. But that's pretty cool. Uh, you guys can read the full description. I'll put it in the link in the description if you guys want to go read the patch notes yourself. Uh, they're super moves. You can build up moves across. Again, I don't know what this is. Uh, you can attack them at any time with your tough opponents to get an advantage. Three new card tiers. 200 plus cards. All the game modes. Play any game you want. Anywhere you want. Unified. Every mode has board pulls. So one of my biggest frustrations with WWE Supercard is when you get a new card or cards. And then you have to burn cards to train it. And then to get cards to train takes so long because I refuse to sit there and play wild constantly. I don't want to do it. I, I mean, I'll do it for challenges, but I don't want to just sit there and play wild constantly. Now I can at least play the game modes I love. Like, uh, Matt, do you think that's going to include the league and stuff? Like league stuff, like Elimination Chamber, Women's Chamber, all that stuff? Or do you think they just mean big events? Just hit me really quick. Yes or no? We, we, can I just play Elimination Chamber? Nah, see, he says no. That's still probably going to be a league thing. They're probably going to debut a new mode. But the things that I like are the ones where, you know, you get more points in league instead of playing wild. So what, what modes, Matt, don't have draft board pulls right now? It's the money in the bank. Money in the bank. So money in the bank. Uh, by the way, some people are about money in the bank. And they don't want to play money in the bank because they think it should be easy. Fair, because God forbid, if I go and have 53 Supercard SummerSlam Pro 20s, I shouldn't be getting not 50 points every single game, right? Then unlock higher tiers for me. This guy. There's no reason that having a better deck should be... If you're going to gonna talk, you're going to have to get up in front of the mic. This is one of those things that we sit here and talk. Man, I'm the casual guy. Look, brother, having a higher deck and money in the, bro in the bank should not be a penalty. I should not be penalized for having better cards. You're not penalized. You're still getting 45 to 48. No, that is a that is an absolute penalty, and I will argue that to the end. 
Get out of my camera screen. Are you guys? Do you guys have that mindset? Do you play Money in the Bank? Now, I don't play Money in the Bank to grind the cards. I play Money in the Bank to essentially go in and have cards. So when I do Team Battleground, basically, if you play five games of Money in the Bank, you can get 200 to 250 points. To maximize, instead of playing wild, you can play five Money in the Bank games. You can actually play 10 and it gets you about 500 to 600 contracts, which basically means you can go right into Money in the Bank. You can get one to four pulls for charges for Team Battleground and then go charge, go place them all, come back, and you could basically speed up your team battleground instead of playing countless hours of wild gameplay. Other stuff that are in there uh, with this one, by the way, Harley, please, I know there's a pandemic. Bring me out, man. I love Kirkland. I want to come hang out with your studio, interview you guys. We'll wear masks. It'll be safe. It'll be fine. Um, art refresh. So there's going to be tons of new art, motion graphics, sleek new look, menus, all that stuff. There's going to be new collections for completing dynamic collections. Limited to time events will feature collections regularly. So it seems like you're finally getting stuff, Matt. Do you think that means like cards? Like you can go out and like get all the Alexa Blisses or stuff like that. Like do you think that's what collections mean? Kind of like Ultimate Team? Like I think that's kind of what that means. I don't know. What do you think? Like, to be honest, and I was just thinking about this now, the way they floated Super Pass this last month, I think was testing out some of the theories they're going to be looking at for this new season. Because you were able to do those, all those things over time. At your pace. See, see, this is the hardcore nerd thing, man. Thanks for that perspective. Appreciate it. So now, the other things that they have coming in, uh, I think, actually, that may be it. Oh, War Games event. You can battle for control of multiple rings and earn points for holding location in this all-new type event coming soon. And much more with quality of life, daily login 2.0s, timed promotions, and more. Again, why am I hyped for 2020 a free-to-play game? I, I don't know, man. Don't ask me questions. I go to the gym every day now. I eat healthy every day. I'm playing SuperCard. Let's just, let's just call it a day. Let's wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys think of SuperCard Season 7, if there's anything you're excited about. And until next time, it's been your boy Tubby Emu. I'm going to get back to the gym. I want to go bike, man. I don't want to be inside. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm going to go live a healthy lifestyle. We'll see you all later. You know what? Headbutt.